Hey guys, Repos here, and welcome back to another Monster Hunter World video. Uh, Happy New Year. And uh, yeah, a uh, couple of days ago, uh, Capcom released another secret collaboration that they didn't show anything like no trailers, no announcements. It wasn't even on the website, but they uh, did something different. So uh, here it is. Here is the uh, layered skin you can get, and it is Bayek from Assassin's Creed, and it looks pretty cool. There is also another thing you can get from this event that they did. I will just quickly just roll this Bayek for a bit. Uh, all right, so they released a, a mantle for this, and it's it's something to do with Assassin's Creed. So. Uh, as you can see on next to my temporal mantle, I have the assassin's hood, and this is in this does increase movement speed and allows you to hide quicker. Last until you do a damage to a monster caught unaware, so you can practically move around quick as hell, and it has a good long duration and recharge time is I guess a little bit shorter than the rest. Just double check that yeah so this happens to be the quickest mantle you can actually get so it's charge time is 180 seconds and its duration is 360 seconds which is pretty cool it, I think it might be the highest duration time ever actually so just double check that quickly 90 seconds for that uh, 120, 120, 180 okay so it's the highest duration ever so yeah um, it's pretty good. It, it's, uh, it is Ezio's, uh, I guess, hair, what am I looking for? Outfit, that's what I was looking for, uh, because it's got the hood and the uh, little cape. So, Ezio had the cape, so that's pretty cool, you know. And, uh, yeah, so if you want both of these, you're going to have to do this event right here. Let's just go to the event board. You know, what? I'm gonna I'm gonna join a quest because it's a little difficult, but we'll, we'll find it. Uh, events. You're gonna have to do the silent, deadly, and fierce quest. This is killing. I'm not gonna do it. It's killing a. Otogaron, Double Joe, and a Lunastra, which Lunastra is just a little bit of annoying monster to deal with and I generally hate doing an Astra. Oh my god these are like under rank 14s. I'm gonna die. Anyways, let's just see how we do. But yeah, um, it's an interesting fight. I'm actually gonna prepare myself for this because this is gonna be a long, long one. And I don't fancy what? Yeah, I don't know. I might die. Might not, but I'm gonna just get ready for that. Skip you. But yeah, the buyer, they could have chosen someone more. Well, bike, bike is good. I like bike. I don't know, bike doesn't bother me. They could have used Ezio's model to match the uh, mantle that they have for it. But hey, they didn't do that, so that's that's their choice, I guess. And so yeah, we're gonna just jump straight into this whenever, hopefully. Skip these. And the last. There we go. All right. So let's skip all these up. So we have a Devil Joe, or a Garon. Do an extra, but first it's Autogaron and Devil Joe. So basically, Devil Joe is the most annoying monster ever that I've ever taken down on my son. Oh, it's just so stupid. But yeah, we're gonna go in this and hopefully get somewhere. I think the Autogaron might be dead. I don't know. I will. See in a minute. Uh, dragon. Oh no, uh, Otto Garon is inside <laughs> Devil Joe's mouth, so there's that. Let's just quickly get my buffs. Oh, I didn't pick that one up, anyway. 
Come here, Double Joy. Oh, I didn't want that one. I'll take a red. Yep. No, I need an orange buff. From you. There we go. Let's get my flash pods. And let's do some damage. Double Joy. Totally missed. So let's rephrase that. Damage on level. There we go. And there we go. Ooh, I really hate fighting Double Joy. It's not a fun monster to fight. Well, it is, but it is. It's, it's new and it's really annoying. I hate it. Is this guy's gonna try and pull the dragon. There we go. There we go. That's Double Joy. And all the Garons still play. An idiot. Hopefully these guys know how to use the weapons. I'm literally spamming everything. Ooh, I got a shout out. Oh, double jump moved out of the range. God damn it. There we go. Got the mount. That's what I was looking for. So just get out of the way. Come on, come on. Yeah, I, I do this completely different. I don't. I generally don't pay attention. I just move whenever it says brace. Probably should not do that, but. That's that's what I do. No autogar. Alright, let's just hopefully deal a lot of damage to Double Joy. Oh, I got worn out of the sky. And again. And now he's gone. Oh no. Put him down. There we go. Oof, that hurt a little. Ooh, hit by the tail. And again. God damn it, what is it with him and his tail? It's really annoying. Buffs, and I'm only getting the white buff because I'm practically inside the double jar right now. Well, that's fast to do some damage. I mean, it's, it's not fast damage, but it's damage nonetheless. That's the orange. I just need the red buff on his face, just like that. Oh no! Oof. Ouch. Double Joe is just running through everything right now. That's usually done. Is he gonna get baited into the trap? Yep. Oh yeah, and I forgot Double Joe can fight from the trap, so that's also kind of funny too. Auto Garen, man. Seriously. Not cool. Alright. He. Double Joe is now again a little tired as he's kind of stopped moving for a second. Chilling for a minute. Oof. Come on. Ah, oh, Come on, Auto Garen. Don't be a little bitch. Don't. I have done nothing to you. I have my insect back in Oh, now I'm constantly stun locked. Sweet. Oh, damn. Put the auto garen down. Double joy, please. Put him down. Spice all my parts. Uh, 
Alright, let's just finally get rid of... Probably both of them. There's Double J down. Now it's just this... Would you stop roaring, please? Well, I now can't pick up Devil Joe. Devil Joe's oh, actually, I can't see Devil Joe's stuff. I've already disappeared already. Oof. Ouch. Gotcha. Alright, there we go. There's both of them down. And now we just pick up the rest of everything. Uh, yeah. So that's two down. One to go. And then you can pick up your items from the, for the quest to pick up uh, the um, Bayek Lead Armor and the Ezio Mantle. Which is pretty cool. Right, I'm just going to set up some barrels right here and wait for Lunastra. The most annoying monster ever. Because I do not like fighting Lunastra. It's not a fun one. Okay, now we wait. Actually, you know what? I will sharpen once everything starts to move, which is now. So I'm going to sharpen now, and hopefully, by the time I've sharpened, Lunash is going to roar. God damn it. <laughs> Can I please sharpen, please? Alright, now let's go take Lunastra down. Ah, messed up. Messed up. Oh, I, I kind of did hit her. Okay. Fair enough, let's get down there. Oop. Oof. Thanks for the out of the stun. I don't want whites. I want orange. God damn. And I'm just gonna stick the temple on because I hate you not. Very much. Although you can still get hit by the fire, so that's not fun. But hey, it's an easy fight. Just like that, just get on top and just go to town. Base, oh, she probably I think the Dragonite might be up in a minute, so that's pretty. Alright, there we go. I think my insect label might be bouncing. Yeah, I'm bouncing. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally bouncing. I need to. Uh, so I'm bouncing onto plates, some places. Temple. I mean, 
And for I put it the best. Even though it's a fact of such a short time. And let's go smock stay just because. Why the hell not? Oh no! Please! Thank you! Okay, now I'm just fighting. Fire. I missed most of those strikes, I still hit the uh, slow motion strike. I call it a slow motion strike because it does. I don't like it since I'm As she's gone up for a second, I'm gonna quickly sharpen up. Oh no, here she comes. There we go. Oh, And the boat trap is not ready, so it's in that. So go to town and all that. Nearly dead. But it looks like she's getting beat. There we go. And there's Lunastra down. Still hate fighting Lunastra. Although it is kind of easier in this arena. Not sure why, but. If you want to ask the parts, do this event and you'll get a few parts. So, that's pretty decent. Also, you get some at the end, so that's a plus two. So, do that and you'll get them. Okay, right now we just wait for this god awful timer, you know. But yeah, bike. This model actually looks pretty decent. Kind of missing the finger. God damn it. Well, it's not missing the finger. It has all fingers. So that kind of is annoying. It, it would have been better if it was missing a, a finger. But hey, I don't, I'm not bothered. And there we go. That is that done. It's kind of cool. He has his assassin blade on the bottom too. That's pretty cool. And so yeah, you get some parts, Toggle J parts, and an extra stuff too, and you're doing this for Senu's Feather. Feather from Senu, loyal to an assassin who stands against injustice and opposes oppression, sorry. Uh, shout out to the smithy and you will start the process of getting the layered armor and the mantle. I think it's... Yeah, you need four in total, four feathers, to get both two for the mantle, two for the laird, and you get a good portion of XP, which is pretty cool too. You can level up probably quite a few times. I think it's like half a level in one, so if you want to level, do that. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Subscribe for more Monstanta, and yeah, peace.